What's going on, mother truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. Today we got special guests, man. This is the dream team right here. I met them the other day. We were at the 75 Chrome Shop. I was I was walking around like a loser, and there there was like, hey man, we're pretending to be your friend. So no, I love it. I love it. Uh, Willie Magdalena. Yes. I've never heard that name in my life, and I love it. When they say it's unique, that is definitely unique. That's yes, that's yes. an amazing yes, thing. It is. So today, we're gonna give you guys the information. A lot of you mother truckers out there always wanna know how you could do teams and jump in as a couple and maybe be a husband and wife team. Right. Right? And I don't wanna be stereotypical, but a lot of times it's the husband that has maybe the five, 10, 15 years experience and the wife might not have experience as driving the truck. Right. right. So. Willie and Magdalena, they work for Landstar. They're a couple. Here's the cool part. Willie's been doing this 20 years. Magdalena, how long you been doing this? We're going on two years. Two years doing this. Mm -hmm. So she's already getting experience in it. But here's the thing. Before that, how much experience did you have? None. None? None. None. Here, you can hold the mic from here. Here, you can hold the mic from here and you can take it from here. So tell us, like, when you say no experience, what do you mean like no experience like could you drive a manual in a car no not at all were you nervous very much so yes how, how did willie get you into this <laughs> yeah, a lot of persuasion actually yeah, yeah. oh really yeah, yes yes and i wanted to be out there with him you know right so i i knew i had to you know get on board get on board that. so i love that were you nervous about like the um the lifestyle of living on the road because you got nice hair thank you you keep yourself up you look thank beautiful you. thank you and a lot of people they think that when you jump on the road it's, it's hard to do that I mean what are your thoughts uh, no the, the the hardest thought I mean the hardest uh, thing for me was actually you know learning how to drive a stick shift really yes yes and I went to school and uh, you know they they taught me how to drive and actually that that was the most frightening thing for me now did you think that because you didn't know how to drive a stick shift in a car that you had a disadvantage? Very much so. And I did because, uh, first of all, not only did I not know how to drive a stick right. shift, I'm left-handed. Oh, really? Ooh. Yes. So that's more of a challenge. So, yes, so, yeah. <laughs> What'd you get her into? Yeah, yeah, so Can you it imagine was, that? yeah. Oh, no. you, you got to Yes, choose. yes, I had to tell my right hand. Oh my God. So that was even more for me. Uh, that, that was a lot of, it was a lot of mental wow. disadvantage for me, but, you but know. But you got it done. Yeah. You say that women can't be in trucking, that you don't have the experience. Uh, what can you say to those people? You can do it one foot at a time. Just get your foot, you know, and just start going one step at a time and you can do it. You can get it done.